Hey guys, Astro Prime here and welcome back to Once Human where we are here at our brand new um, location for our base. So um, I'm, I found a really nice lagoon right here where we have built our base and together with one of my friends who is also here with us. Uh, I mean not in this episode but he's been, join uh, he's been joining me for like the adventures running around collecting stuff. Um, so we have built our base, he's my neighbor right here and I'm trying to show you guys my new base. Um, so we've built a nice little mansion of sorts. I mean his his base is right there and it looks really good as well guys by the way. Um, I really feel like I, I really feel like my friend does a better job building bases than me. I mean look at this. Yeah, yeah he, he does a way better job on the bases. Um, but hey, um, I'm learning also from his designs. He has some very interesting ways of building which I like a lot but I'll show you guys mine first. Um, so this is of course the garage area. So very similarly, I've like I like to put my garage together with my um, construction stuff as well. As you already noticed, we have a car right now. So in fact, it was um, once you hit tier three and you have completed the map, it's actually very easy to make the other two vehicles. Just go into your garage, uh, press X on vehicle list, uh, and you can actually have the option to craft stuff. You just uh, build, build the basic parts. Now these parts all use uh, tier three kind of like resources. Um, if you've been diligently salvaging and not like blindly rushing through the game like a nerd. Um, you should have most of the things like if you have been just doing um, like you know all this side content going around to the to different buildings and just salvaging things um, you should have everything you need to build both the car as well as the four wheel drive um, frankly speaking personally I think the retro coupe drives a lot better the retro coupe is um, uh, two passengers uh, sorry as in one driver one passenger so you, you can actually bring your friends along with you all terrain vehicle is a uh, four-seater so you can bring three friends with you and the motorcycle of course is the fastest but only takes one so I quite like the retro coupe as like um, a duo kind of thing because I you know I, we drive around with my friend and then we just go around knocking things out uh, so, so the retro coupe is great I, I like it um, but yeah so then of course the construction areas right here this is just the um, entrance way uh, to the back of the house is my farm area so we already have a couple of potatoes all nice and growing um, kind of overlooking the see you can see my friend's base as well i, I really like what he's done Arr. i felt so bad like I, I was like i after i finished this mansion then he kind of moved his base and then he started building it and the more he built it oh someone else is building here too oh wow yeah and the more he built the more i i got like like conscious like hey my base doesn't look as good i want to make some i, I kept wanting to edit the base <laughs> um but yeah so we have our electric stove oh by the way um our base is now electric uh, mostly electric run. So let me just show you guys the uh, top first because it's a bit more sparse. So the bedroom is over here very very empty and um, I've changed to the gel instead. Uh, we'll talk more about that in the combat later. Uh, the gel seems to be a, a lot more useful. We have a chest here for our food and stuff. I've been making a lot of salt. Um, because we are right beside the salt, um, like salt water here, I've been making a lot of salt and I've been selling them on eternal land. This is really interesting guys. Remember eternal land is permanent and it stays along with you. You could oh sorry, you could actually sell away. So like let's say for example, if I keep a uh, handful of these salts, because honestly I don't know what salt is used for except for cooking. You could actually sell these on the eternal land. Uh, we can just manage it. Um, no, not manage. Not manage. Uh, you can actually go over to shop order. Yeah, and then you can sell all of your salt. So you can press S to select multiple, and then you can just select all of your salt. Um, obviously it's not going to be a lot of money, but you could just select like a handful of these salt and then you can just sell it for a sol uh, clean 599. Here we go. And then now you have a whole bunch of astro sand which you can use to then go over into your eternal land to build and stuff. Like Not like not that we have done that yet, um, but that is one way to use um, this salt. So essentially I'm using the electric stove. Every once in a while I'll just sit, I'll just sit here and grab all the salt in the world, all the salt water, dump it into the electric stove and after that we'll go out for an adventure. So then the electric stove just produce salt and then we can sell them on eternal land. Um, so other things that are new, I'm using a, a harvest seed. This is a um, crafting uh, deviant and it produces this little thing called hard vine which you can then use your supplies bench to make something called living armor now I wish I knew this a long time ago it is basically an oh shit button let me show you guys where if I can f oh, my place is in a mess this one so living armor um, activates when HP drops below 20% recovers 100% uh, HP within 5 seconds and then you can uh, it only has it has a 10 second uh, sorry a 10 minute cooldown so it can only activate once every 10 minutes uh, so having a handful of this as the old shape button um, for you in fight seems to be pretty useful I haven't used it yet I just got it into my um, inventory only so I don't actually know if it's if, if it works like how I think it works uh, but it sounds like an O-shaped button so that's great uh, over the back uh, here is the storage area nothing much to see 
Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. The, I mean, the outside area here is really just for decoration. The solar panels are all here. So I got three solar panels right here. Um, they are powering primarily my electric stove, which is for cooking, and the electric furnace. Guys, the electric furnace is a game changer. If I have one thing that I can recommend the moment you hit tier 3 to make first, is your damn electric furnace. Um, essentially, it works the exact same way as a furnace, with the exception that you don't burn wood. Guys, um, tier 1 and 2, when you are in your first two regions, you run out of wood quite frequently, especially if you don't have enough beavers to support your passive uh, wood generation. Um, but once you have an electric furnace and ample electricity, you can actually make burn all these without using wood. And uh, you can primarily use the wood purely for the charcoal, um, whether you want to use it for sintered bricks or whatever. But the point is this electric furnace is so damn important. Um, use it guys just use it uh I, I would i would argue when you go into tier if you are into base building once you enter tier 3 make this first i regretted not making this earlier this is so important um the electric stove not as much uh, not as important but still works the same way whereby you don't need to use wood anymore um and of course if you have chef Soros rex he helps you to cook faster which is cool he's freaking cute guys look at him i swear this guy is like my favorite I, he, and he's absolutely huggable too look at that I like him. Yeah, so other than that, nothing else has changed. Um, this guy is still, I don't even know. Oh, this is Chefosaurus, yeah. Yeah, so nothing else has changed. So we have a much more compact and nice house right now. So I like it. It's, it's kind of expanded a little bit. Uh, but in terms of the functionality, everything is there. We still have space to upgrade if we need it too. So we have that in place. Now for today's episode, we are, I mean, you guys already know. If you guys watched the last episode, we were royally humped, uh, effed over, uh, humbly bent over and... <laughs> <laughs> screwed so heavily it was bad guys it was bad if you guys missed the last episode please go watch it it's so bad um but i've went ahead to do as much as i can upgrade um every single one of our gear is tier 3 now so i went to recraft most of these gears they're all tier 3 now so our hammer crumble which is our main sniper um is a tier 3 as well as our pioneer so this is new so this is actually a rifle that i've been testing out together with my friends so this is actually craftable we have the blueprints for this assault rifle right here called the um wait we already unlocked the oh no but this is the previous one that we've been using i'm not i cannot say i'm a big fan of this um, but so far this rifle feels better. This this rifle has a much better rate of fire. And they have this thing called shrapnel. Now this is cool because... Let me show you guys what shrapnel does. There we go. So when you hit an enemy with a bullet, it deals weapon damage which is 50% attack to a random unhit part. Now this is interesting because I never even factored in the fact that there were part damages. Aside from the fact that I did, I did see zombies like hands fly off. But I also assume that when they say part damages means like for example headshot versus body shots. Um, which makes all the sense in the world because uh, with this weapon, it basically means that I can shoot anywhere I like. And the weapon actually spreads to another part dealing also additional 50% uh, of that damage. So um, once again, I don't really know if I'm understanding this right. Um, but in terms of the actual practical use, when I've been using this gun when I'm running around tier 3 uh, with my friend and then we're just helping him out clear things off, um, I must say it feels great. Uh, the rate of fire is much faster than the... So like for example, the rate of fire here is 600 versus the 515 on the... Uh, I, I, I don't know, SOCR. I keep pronouncing it soccer. I don't know why. Um, The soccer outsider. But the soccer outsider has that power surge lightning thingy. So I don't know. I'm currently going to use the KM for now until we find a better option. It feels better for me at least. Um, in terms of sniper, nothing, nothing much has changed. We are still using the hammer because we haven't unlocked anything else yet, which is sad. Um, I can't say I'm a biggest fan of the hammer, but it has been serving us reasonably well. Um, so that's that. But yeah, so the weapons and stuff, um, I've also tried my best to uh, uh, calibrate them to at least uh, calibration 2. Now, I can push for more, but I'm a very stingy person. Calibration 3 onwards requires special resources and I'm cheap, at, I'm cheap like that. Um, same thing for the armor though. Uh, so as you can see, our armor is also calibrated, so there's calibration 2. Um, I think for this armor, I, I kept them at calibration 1 because the next tier needed a additional things. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so there's cal uh, calibration on, on our armor as well. We are currently running a 4-piece on the agent. Uh, hopefully with the increased reload speed uh, after killing an enemy, that will help us uh, a bit. The beret is going to give us shrapnel and don't forget our weapon here. Um, does 30% chance to trigger shrapnel. So if it does trigger the shrapnel, apparently it hits an additional part. Uh, I don't know whether, uh, once again, I don't know if I'm reading it right, but I'll take it 
at face value, you know. And finally, we're still running the Rustic Jacket for that plus 8% movement speed. Honestly speaking, I'll be replacing the Rustic Jacket soon. I just don't have a better level 1 option at this point in time. At least not with the blueprints I'm looking at. So, um... But yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Like you see, for example, I can I have the option for like... I mean, hit damage reduction is good. It's more defensive and all that. We have heavy melee damage which is useless to us. Max HP is meh. Uh, gathering speed is meh. So, like, like most of my, my chests... We don't really have that much one like level one kind aside from the movement speed, which is very universally helpful. So I'm holding on to it for now. So yeah, I've I frankly feel like I've done whatever I could. Again, I have resources that I can push for more calibration, which is more damage, more defenses, and all that good stuff. Um, but for what is worth, this is what I can do for now. The one thing that I know I haven't really dabbled in is a food, the, like all the food stuff. I know that certain food and certain recipes gives you certain buffs. So um, unfortunately, that is like a whole other thing. Like for example, you want to make a bacon uh berber and stuff you need tomatoes and stuff i i barely i freaking barely have a farm going on so for the life of me this is another like mission on its own i'm not gonna do that just yet so we're gonna give the nightmare place another shot today uh hopefully we do better this time and yeah so i, I also made a lot of ammo already so we have like um, close to 4k uh, on our assault rifle i hope that is enough so yeah, so today we're going to be going back to take on the securement silo. Hopefully we do better this time. And yeah, let's go. Alright, here we are back at Nightmare Zone. Ugh. <sighs> well, good luck to us. <laughs> we're going to give this another shot, guys. I was really frustrated. Like, um, the fact that we weren't able to do it the first time. Um, but again, I, I think games... It's been a while since a game felt... Like, like it challenged me in a way that I felt motivated to want to actually completed uh i know it sounds a bit weird because i do play a fair few fair amount of games but because i primarily play rpgs um and rpgs are not necessarily known to be very challenging um of course there's always hard mode and all that stuff but i, gen I tend to play games on like just normal mode like the most default experience um and yeah generally it's not going to be the most challenging thing in the world so um and of course this is not exactly an rpg it's an mmo uh, or rather it's a survival game but even comparative to other survival games, I do find that this game having a bit of challenge is actually super great. Uh, why are things falling? Alright, so let's do that. Okay, so we're already taking a bit of damage which is no good to any one of us. Alright, so there's one, one more of that. I. Yeah, we are still taking quite a bit of damage though, so that's no good. Um, however, our water... Okay, so I'm gonna start using the san Sanity Gummy a little bit more as well, because I do feel that the Sanity is ruining us big time. Um, although I also want to grab whatever resources we can get, because we never know when that might actually help us out a little bit here and there. With all of those hits against us, um, it's doing nothing for us, so that's pretty bad. Um... This is just a side area, right? If I remember. Oh no, this is a seepage zone. Yeah, I did the crack. Oh, oh. Right, nice. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, our sanity is going up again. Which is, once again, doing nothing good for us. Um, Frankly speaking, guys, there's one thing that I haven't really learned much yet, which is how this whole sanity system works. Um, my friend did ask me a question which I really have no answer to. Like, what's the difference between like pollution resistant and psi resistant, the PSI resistance? Uh, I actually have no freaking clue, guys. So, um, yeah. We're gonna try to figure out a lot of these things as we go along. Just not deal with the spider, it just does damage to us and it makes me unhappy. Oh god. That's that. Oh, shucks. Ow, what am I doing? I, I pressed that my mistake. That was an absolute mistake. Ooh. How did that not hit? Oh, that did not. Okay, yeah, so the sniper did not do what I think it want. What I wanted it to do. What the? What the? That is exceptionally unhelpful. Okay, I'm screwing up big time. Yeah, yeah, so it definitely feels... 
Okay, so there's one thing that has not changed. I do feel like our damage has not changed much. Um, it still feels a tad weak, which is no good to any one of us. Um, oh boy. Okay, so let's try and take out as many of them from range as possible. Yeah, as you can see, crap. We're not one-tapping them, which is a very big concern for me. Okay, let's take that one first, because that one is a good one. Okay, the rest we can melee, I think. There's that. Unfortunately, we do not have the Rosetta card 3. So we can't go in here. Uh, and frankly speaking, that means that I had initially, I mean, in our previous episode, I initially thought that perhaps we. Are these buttons buttonables? Yeah, these buttons aren't buttoning enough. Oh well. Very sad. Okay, so it is upon us. Like, I don't know how to get in here. Yeah, uh. Wait. Unless... Hold on, I'm gonna try something. I don't actually know if this is what we are supposed to do, but let's give it a shot. Because honestly, there's nothing much to lose at this point. Eat. Hmm, no, that does nothing for us. Uh, and our... Because we're in the CPH zone, our insanity is going high. So let's get in here instead. We do have the gummies, which helps us to lower our insanity by a smidget. But not nearly enough, I think. And we don't we don't nearly have it, like we don't really have that much gummies anyway, so that's a problem too. Alright, so let's heal up. We all know what's ahead of us. Um I'm gonna use my assault rifle a lot more for this fight. I okay, so the idea here is to take out the that, that umbrella lady before she can take us out. So that's the strat. Which is I know not much to to go by, but um is is what I can is what I have at this point, man. Guys, it's so bad. We belong to the doll in the cabinet. Mum and dad knows this. Ugh, so creepy. Okay, so... Yep, we're back in creepy land. Oh, I love this part. <laughs> so creepy, guys. Alright, here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Alright, here we go. Whew. Okay. So first order of business, take out as much threat as we can first. Oh my god, these insects have no reason to be so tanky. We want to take out as much as we can first. Because the last thing you need is these things to add to your problems. Should be one more up there. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna take out the umbrella lady as fast as we humanly can. Set her on fire. And then swap to this. And pop off. Nice. <sighs> okay, good. So the bulk of the problem is gone. Okay, good, 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 good. That was just about as good as it gets. Whew, alright. So, yeah, you can see the significant difference. At least now we're going in with a strategy. Okay, partially because we know what's going on. Like, finally, we know what's going on. So, what is this actually? Can I touch this? I can't seem to touch it though. Handling umbrella. Yeet! Okay. So here we go. So we killed the enemy boss in the zone tombstone. Go to the central control to receive the access card. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, dear me. Hold on, there's this thing here. Chefosaurus! Hey. I can have a second Chefosaurus Rex. Wait, we're done here. Uh. 
Well, let's max gain this. Oh, this one, that one was a side area. <gasps> oh, hello. Oh, it's a shotgun. Never mind. Uh, so now what do we do? Whoops. Yeet. Wait. This puts us back here. Hang on. I don't feel like we've went anywhere. Okay, no, no. So this is actually like a proper side area, which means we weren't... We didn't need to be... Oh, I, I had initially thought we needed to be here. Wait, okay. So now I'm very confused because we... Uh, if this is the case, then we are actually lost. Kill the enemy boss in the zone tombstone. But we need to go to the central control room to receive the access card. No, no, no. So we actually missed something out here. Um... Oh, wow. Okay. Well, the good news is we solved the side bit, which was not necessary, but we solved it. Uh, now the problem is where is the central control? Yeah, so the problem is we need to figure out how to get in there, which is a problem. Uh, hmm. Go to the central control room and re to receive the access card. But the problem is we don't know where the- OH! Oh, come on, guys. We suck. Nope, that did not help. Okay, but I'm pretty sure this will. Wait, so if somebody didn't come in with Molotovs, what happens? Like, how, how would somebody ever go through this if they never knew or they didn't come in with Molotovs? That would immediately be a problem, isn't it? Because we tried to use that barrel and that didn't do shit. Wait, but this didn't give me the central the access card either. Wait a minute. Uh No, that didn't give us though, no, so that that wasn't it either. We don't have the access card either. Uh Ooh, we're lost. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? No, let's just... Okay. That's odd. We're missing something here. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna need to run around by a, a little bit more just to see if we actually... Mi oh. No. What the heck? Yeah, okay, so we missed something out here. I'm gonna try and see if we can figure this out because we I, I am genuinely lost. Guys, we're idiots. Here it is. It was inside his place. Guys, it was literally here. A box. Guys, I feel like an idiot right now. We will not talk about what happened here. <laughs> that makes me so angry. Oh god. Eliminate the nest sack. Mmm. Mmm. So one down, we have four to go. There is a lot of chests here which is grey. But we need to try and see if we can ID the nests from a little bit further away so that we don't have to take unnecessary damage. Distance on this is bad though, so... Okay, let's not let him do it. Okay, two more down. Good. Okay, so there's one right here. Good. Okay, last one right there. I don't think I can... I don't think I have the distance to get that explosive thingy. So, okay, let's go nearer. There we go. More deviants are drawn in. Oh, God! Brother! Ugh. Nice. Okay, so we pop him. Okay, we're gonna try and set him on fire now. Okay, he's on fire. Ow. Oh shit. Wow. Okay, we're gonna need a kite. We'll cut a bit. 
Cause you don't want to be standing too still in this fight, in this kind of fight. Let's get up. Whoa. Okay, so um, we're in a bit of a pickle. So seven and four, which is our health up combo. So. Nice. Oh, dear mom. I know this is all a little sudden, but an opportunity presented itself. I had to grasp it with both hands. You can understand that, right? We did well. We sold all the oil, the fuel and oil, and loaded up with electrical equipment, weapons, and books. But I'm not coming back with the other. Sorry, mom. These guerrillas are different. They have advanced technology and knowledge from before the star fall. I thought we would be. Uh, I thought I would be content with what I learned from you and Dennis. But now I would. I want to see the world beyond. Love, Robin. I think we killed Robin, guys. Was that Robin? Oh boy. Hello? Are you Robin? Alright, let's get max rewards just because I think we really deserve this. Oh god! I mean, one glance you really know that it was not that much worth it for us. Um, Alright, but it's okay. The cool thing is we do have a, a good amount of treasure chests and stuff. Wow, this, okay, this final boss area here is quite choke full of things. I like it. There was another chest here, right? Yeah. Look at this. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, look. There's one more in there. Woohoo! Oh, that's worth it. I mean, jeez. This was a lot of effort. Like, I actually... Like, I'm no joke, guys. In between this and the like, last episode, I really went um, to relook at my entire gear. I was looking at potential um, bits that, you know, we weren't doing that well in in terms of the damage or upgrades and stuff. I was, I even went, went ahead to upgrade my house just to make sure that the base building wasn't gating potential upgrades that I needed. Um, so yeah, I think it was worth it. I do feel a lot stronger and I feel like I know what I'm doing. Granted, because we had to fail first before we really know what we're doing. So um, I'm happy. Uh, and once again, it, it does show that in this game, the difficulty is not unfair. In many games, sometimes the difficulty is like a number push because it's just all numbers and numerics. This game, it feels like you're actually really progressing. So I like it. So let's leave. Um, so victory, which is great beans. Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, so feels so good. Finally done. Ah, <sighs> okay, good. So at least we know with enough effort and uh, kind of like working on your on your setups, uh, the game is not unfair. So that's great. All right. So let's speak to um, what's his name? What's his dude's name again? Where's my quest? Why is my quest not tagged to him? Uh, above. This one. Meep. All right, team man, I did it. Hello, Mayfly. I've been waiting to meet you. Mrs. Madeline, listen about Robin. Robin is alive, I know, but thank you for telling me. He's not alive. What's done is done. I have paid my price. There is no. Oh wait, no. Robin is alive. Robin was the one who put up that. Wait, Robin, I'm very confused. Tell him to look after himself. There's not much to say. What an extraordinary woman, wasn't she? So composed, even when facing such turbulence. is so life. sassy. The courage of people here, impressive. Don't play dumb. I know you have news on Robin Cri uh, Crichton. Aware, unaware. What difference does it make? After all, the deviant did kill several people, minus Robin Crichton. Mm. My judgment still stands. The important thing is justice being delivered. I got paid, and you, after cool. all, get to receive a handsome reward. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to argue against that logic. Ooh, ep ep wait! Oh, where is it? Wait, I could have sworn I saw a purple thingy. Where is it? Didn't we get something? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh uh, my god. I thought I saw something called explosive shrapnel. No. Stop it. Where, where did this... Oh, this is very, very evil. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Uh, one thing at a time. So, we're done with this bit, finally. Uh, we definitely have time to take on our monolith. Uh, we're going to go back to base first. Uh, drop things off. Uh, make sure we have enough ammo and stuff. And then we're going to take on that monolith, finally. Alright, here we are at the monolith. Nearly broke my leg there. <laughs> Alright, so going in now. Um, as usual, with every monolith, there is always going to be a whole bunch of salvage and resources. So, make it a point. Oh, hello! There we go. Okay, I mean, we already have that. So, the good news is we can scrap that down. Um, get some, uh, was it mods or is it upgrade parts out of it? 
uh, which is good. So always take the chance to loot the last bits uh, of resources before you enter. Um, once again though, you can use this to then craft things, but then if you don't have that on your on your person, then it's not no point. Uh, you could just go ahead and disassemble them to lighten up your weight. Um, other than that, last minute crafting and stuff, but we should have everything we need already. So we're good to go. There's one more nice one right here. Alright, so, um, if memory serves, we are fighting a spider looking thingy and I cannot remember where the weak spot was unfortunately, but I did remember that I think it was on the back. Uh, there were little spots on the back, I think. I cannot remember if that was the Trian or the spider, but we're gonna go with... That's creepy. Level 30. The Arexium, a uh, great one, resides in the Elmid class rift. The rift space was activated in 2049 using a Stardust equivalent. The rift space comprised vast rock cavern. Oh dear. It containing human structures of unknown age and origin. There is a spatial temporal connection between the rift and transcends the laws of physics. It's not yet clear why such a connection exists. There are a large number of humans and other creatures who actively seek something after being exposed to something and are swallowed by the rift space. Several expeditions targeting the Great One inside this rift space have ended in varying degrees of failure. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's the point of reference is not even success, it's just <laughs> reverse of survival indicating the Great One's high number of eggs merits particular attention. That is not good. Okay, so, aside, so this does give us a couple of hints as to the fight. Um, probably going to have some egg mechanics and probably going to need to take out those eggs in time. Uh, if not, we risk get Oh, we're indoors! Oh, we're in the hospital. More often than not, when we visit hospitals, no, nothing good comes out of it. Okay. Oh boy. Should I be concerned that we're in a hospital? Oh, hello. The man of Ado. Oh boy. We are on! This is no good. I don't like this. Oh, I'm shivering, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is... Oh, thank God it's not night time. Ooh. So chest and tail. Hi. Oh, me. Wow, she doesn't really have a very solid weak spot for us to work with, does she? Critting though. Hey! Ah! 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 How do I get out? No! 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 No!
Ooh, 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 this is tough. Okay, she's burning, she's burning, she's burning. Good, 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 good. Oh no! Oh, nay, 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 nay. Oh, nay, nay, nay. Spider eggs. Okay, she's gonna use a slice, slice, slice. She doesn't even have a reasonable weak spot for us to work with, man. Hi! Oh, nay, nay, nay. Oh, nay, 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 nay. How do I get out of there? I can't, I can't get out of there, I can't get out of there. Ay. Yeah, no, that, once you get hit by that, it's a guarantee. Like, there's no getting out of there. Yeah, I think the general rule of thumb, let's not have any spider eggs snapping around. Ay. Oh, no. Hi. Clear the spider eggs hidden in the mist. Ui. Oh dear. Eliminate all spider eggs to remove Araxium's immunity. Wow, well, that's not good. Bruh, seriously? Bruh, you're kidding. Man's gonna just walk off a freaking cliff, man. What the hell? Uh, this is helping no one. What the? Oh, there it is. Wow. more yo what is there more oh, I always will kill the spiders now nice he's not just pop him huh Okay, let's not risk this. Oh! Wow. Yikes! Uyo. Ui, ui. Got nice weak spots, so that's fire. Yeah, the, the central pillar might be actually very helpful for us. <gasps> nice spot. Let's get him, get him on fire. Let's 
get as much damage as we can. Alright, sure she's immune now. So she's doing her sickening thing now. Not impossible to find the the eggs though. I mean they are barely glowing, so that helps a bit. But that's all you're gonna get. Alright, smoke's gone. Up first before that thing happen. Eh! Eh! Yeah! Ah! Eh! 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 Get me out! Ooh. Now you're gonna find the spiders because she's still immune until we pop the spiders, I think. There it is. Bruh! Eh, hey, bruh, bruh, bruh! Bruh, bruh, bruh! What the damage? Oh yeah, she's done. Ugh. Again, Got that shit. Nice. spot fire. Let's finish off. Oh, yeah, that felt so good. Yo, <laughs> this is a boss fight. Yo. This is a fun fight! Dreamcatcher, hello. Alright, this episode got a little bit longer than expected, guys. Um, Damn. Alright, so let's get the controller. Uh, just get the one. Yeah, so this fight was a bit longer. So this episode's a tad longer. But I think this... Oh, hello. Um, but I think it's worth it. It was very, very fun. Um, perhaps it's going to be a bit easier if we actually was even more geared up. Uh, but because I'm a cheap skate, you know. Alright, nice. There we go. Damn, that was cool, okay. Um, as much as I want to, like, not keep the episode too long, but I think we're too invested into, like, the whole progression of it, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down and talk to Mitsuko. I, I, I presume we have to. There we go. Enter Chrono Cage. So, we still need to go and talk to Mitsuko. So, let's enter the Chrono Cage. Uh, see what she has to say about our progress about killing the Spider Lady. Um, it's creepy though. <laughs> The spider lady was so creepy. I loved it so much. I'm sorry. Out of the uh, three bosses thus far, this one's my favorite. This this was outrightly my favorite uh, boss. Damn. <laughs> oh, so good. Ah uh, no, this 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 boss was good. I loved it so much. I don't remember the last time I enjoyed the game so thoroughly, man. Oh, damn, this game is surprising me at every turn. All right, Misugo. Mitsuko? Hello? Let's speak. Talk to me, Mitsuko. Now that you took down another transcendent, 
I have more memetics for you. Thanks for the memes. And it looks like you've got something interesting in your cradle, too. Tz. A dream catcher? So this web spun itself a spider. One that could prey on people mm. while they slept. It seems pretty scary. Mm -hmm. I know everyone in Iron River must be grateful you laid this thing to rest. I certainly am. Mm -hmm. You risked your life to save them. Mizuko, every I, every other boss you feel this way. Stop it. Here. I mean, your, your, your feelings are valid, but so useless. Ah well, we can't blame her. Can, can. To go back into it's not about her strength, right? It's about being prayed. Yeah, yeah, you're hiding here for a reason, aren't you? I mean, you don't want to transcend and do bad things to you. V told me the same thing. I get it. I do. My powers are special, and they make me a target for the evolutionists and the great ones. But it means I'm stuck here. Mm, and I miss the enough. real world. I mean, you're far from useless, frankly speaking. That's nice of you to say, but it still bothers me that I can't do more. To help you in the Mayflies, I mean. Out in the real world. Not just because of the dangers, but mm. because I'm afraid to go back. Alright, when you're ready, we'll be there for you. Thank you, Meta. It's good to know I can count on you when the time comes. V once told me Mayflies are small, yet invincible. I mean, that's true. I need to remember that. Mm -hmm. We need to keep holding on, just like them. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yo, guys, I'm, I'm actually like emotionally and like my, my heart rate is still reeling from how fun that, that, that boss fight was. I liked that a lot. <laughs> uh, what the hell is wrong with you? Hello? Damn. Okay. Um, so report the results to Hot Dog. Now, we're not going to report the results just yet because this episode has gone on for way longer than needed. Um, what we are going to do is we are going to head back home, drop things off, and right as, uh, once we start our next episode, we are going to hop to Grey Water Camp and then speak to Hot Dog. Uh, most likely he's going to push us to the next zone already, which is good. Um, I don't think we left any quests hanging around. So, yeah, we're about to move on to the next zone. So, but that will be for the next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time.